Hey guys, happy Thursday. Coming to you a day early today. I hope you're having a great week. Mine has been extremely busy. Hi, Marion, you jumped on quick, thank you. I'm glad to see, hopefully I'm in the right place. Let me double check, make sure. Seems like I have been doing that a lot lately. Yeah, okay, I think I'm in the right place. So today we're gonna play around with the new in colors that you can see right there. Um, I have to say they are some of my favorites. I am a brights girl for sure. So these definitely appeal to me. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Um, I have to admit that I feel a little foggy today. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully we can get through this without me completely screwing everything up. Seems like I just am making messes and mistakes right and left. Thanks, Vicki. Hi, Vicki. Thanks, Darcy. Hi, Tammy. All right, so today in the new in colors, here they are. And we're gonna um, make three projects with them. Oh, you know what, I forgot to put my little sign. Let's see, let's move everything down. If you've never joined me before, or if you have and you've forgotten, I always offer my make and takes for free with a $30 order using the hostess code. And this is the hostess code for this week. Um, before we totally get started, let me remind you that over on my blog, hopefully it went up right now, I have a PDF with all three projects. Um, all of the um, details are here uh, for the products that I used, and then the measurements and stuff are down below at the bottom of each project. Um, that hostess code is there if you want the free make and takes. Um, here are some things, also some reminders. Um, my two class to goes. There's the link right there. Uh, the Share What You Love bundle, still available. I just sent out the first batch of make and takes yesterday with a free embellishments. I got that out earlier than I thought I would. So that went out yesterday. Second batch will go out. I have some um, made ahead of time. I didn't want to make too many. It's kind of hard to guesstimate how many to make, so I've made some. So if you order the Share What You Love bundle, in the next week, I'll be able to mail them out right away. Otherwise, I probably won't prep those again until the end of the month. Um, but I will be emailing you the PDF, hopefully within 24 hours. So information about that is right there. My In Color Club is totally filling up, really. You guys, I'm so excited about everybody who's joining me for the In Color Club this year. There's still spaces. I'm adding in groups of five. So for every five people, we've got a full group. If you're interested in that, there's the information right there. Um, okay, so over there on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll find that. We have some um, prizes from last week. Let's look at those. I always ask if you guys would share the video um, to any of your friends who would be interested in paper crafting or um, groups that you belong to. I would greatly appreciate it. So I choose two prizes um, or two winners every week from those who shared. And here are our winners from last week. You guys are getting make and takes from the week that we did the watercolor wings projects. Um, Sherry, and I'm going to butcher your name, I'm sorry, Dobreski, maybe that's right. And Donna Howd, I think. So ladies, I don't have either of your mailing addresses. So please, please, please email me. That's the only way I'll know how to get these out. I still have prizes from the previous weeks of people who aren't contacting me. So you guys, please email me so I can get those out to you. So that's, um, those were um for sharing the video then i have a widget over on my blog every week where i give away prizes um you have to go over pinkbuckroo.com and enter your email address and it'll collect it and then it randomly picks two winners for me so tr the winner of the hostess drink hostess set tranquil tulips is june and june i think i'm going to see you tonight at card class so i will bring that to you tonight and then the other winner is christy hillock hillock um and christy I think I have your address, but it would help me if you um, if you emailed it to me because I'm not sure. Christy Hillock. I'll send you an email too. All right, so congratulations, ladies. Um, today, I've got more prizes. 
for sharing the video. If you guys would share, I've got two packs of our glitter enamel dots to send out. It's so funny, I have kind of stockpiled these, so I'm gonna be giving these away quite a bit over the next few weeks. Um, just a fair warning, guys, my phone is acting very strange. If I, for some reason, like go out and the video ends, I'll start again um, a new video. So just in case, I don't know, it's like the screen's really dark. That kind of makes me nervous. But anyway, it's fully charged. We'll see. So anyway, these are some of my favorites. When they first came out last summer, <laughs> they couldn't keep them in stock. They were so popular. So I've been stockpiling them. I love them. I mean, glitter dots. Everybody loves glitter dots. So this is um, what I'll be giving away um, to... Um, <laughs> Jennifer, I am seeing your comment and I'm distracted. Um, I'm totally distracted. I cannot read comments and talk at the same time. Jennifer, I'll get with you. <laughs> um, anyway, these will be two winners for next week. My brain just cannot read comments and keep talking. I don't know how people do that. This week, the widget over on my blog post is for a bundle. Just one this week because it's a big one. It's the Home Life stamp set and matching framelits. And the framelits are really cute because there's a house-shaped um framelit in there uh there's like a banner and then this is like that triple stamp where you stamp one color the second color and the third color and they all come together to make the shape of a house i did some things with this um last summer and i really like this this set so so that's the prize this week so i will pick that winner next week okay so there's prizes um another thing i wanted to tell you guys is that um you might have seen my post i am Swimming in catalogs right now. My poor UPS man probably broke his back bringing those boxes. They are crazy heavy. I've got a, a million of them, a ton. So I am starting with those people who, if you've ordered from me, I sent you an email and I said, do you want a catalog? Hopefully you got that um, and you clicked yes or no or whatever. But if you did not order from me and you don't have a demonstrator and you want one, I'm happy to send you one. So send me an email, erica at pinkbuckery.com, and I will get these out. I'm, we're processing them. It takes a long time. We put labels on the back. I make them, um, print out a wish list. I make a bookmark, put a coupon in there, all kinds of stuff. And then I have to print out all the labels to ship. So it takes quite a long time. So just know that's what we're doing. My family, my little family of workers um, are working on these um, slowly but surely. Um, so anyways, if you order from me, if you've ordered from me in the last six months, I sent you an email. Make sure that you respond. If you didn't get that email, let me know that also too because I want you guys to have these. Um, I'm happy to send them to you, uh, but I just need to know who wants them. I don't want to send them to people who already have one or who are demonstrators and get one already. So, um, because they cost, they cost $7.20 to ship. Um, so that's kind of a, you know, like a tricky thing. I, I really honestly don't mind mailing them out. I just want to make sure they're going to homes that need them, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's that. Um, it's a great catalog. I'm tired of waiting for it to go live. I feel like we, we get to see it in April and it feels like a million years before it's actually live. A few more weeks, June 1st. Um, reminders, the All Store Tutorial Bundle, you get this for free when you spend $50 with me. I send them out about once a week. I check, go through all my orders and then email them to everybody who has sent, spent $50. This month it has 13 tutorials in it. And there, you can see their full color, step-by-step, -step, metric, and imperial measurements on there. And then here's that share what you do, share what you love um, class planner that goes with the bundle, the share what you love bundle that's out right now. And it's got 10 projects in it. You get that free if you buy any of those bundles. Okay, I think that's all my announcements. Woo, I need a drink. I have water. You guys, guess what? I have cut out almost all Diet Coke. I say almost all, because I can't, I just can't give it all up. But my doctor gave me a come to, come to Jesus meeting about the Diet Coke, and I am really on the water, and it hasn't been easy. So maybe that's why I'm foggy. It's been a week. Do you think I'd feel better now? Okay, so let's get started. Here are our five new in colors. 
They are bright and bold and beautiful, and I think they look like a pack of crayons. I don't know about you guys, but don't those just look like primary colors that you would see in like a kindergarten classroom? Maybe that's why I like them so much, because I used to be a kindergarten teacher. Um, blueberry Bushel, Lovely Lipstick, which is my favorite, um, Grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, and Call Me Clover. We're gonna use all of them today, and I'm gonna show you some comparisons too. Um, I do want to point out that we have these new stamp cases also. It's a new design. Here's the old stamp case. And it was always tricky for a new person who never opened them because you had to push in, flip, and then push in like that. So for those of us that stamp all the time, it just becomes second nature, right? So the funny thing is that now the easier to open stamp cases they trip us up because we're so used to pushing. So no more pushing, you flip it open like if you're opening your powder, you know, your compact, you open it just like that. And yes, they are tight when you first get them. Some people are like, ah, it's so tight, but that's by design. They want them to seal in that ink and, and you know, not give any opportunity for it to, you know, evaporate before it should. So they are tight. Um, they do loosen up a little bit as you use them. When you open it, you can slide it in again, like the other ones. Some of them, because they're so tight, are having trouble um, in the beginning wiggling those in. Um, a trick that I've seen is to take a candle, the wax part, and rub it in here, or a Q-tip with some WD-40. I haven't had to do that on any of mine because all of mine slide just fine. But if you find when you get your new um, stamp pads that they're tight, try a couple of those tricks. And yes, you can, I've gotten that question a lot, you can squeeze it like the old pad, open it up, and you've got that little palette for your aqua painters or your blender pens. So those are the new ink pads right now. And you'll notice I put this over on our PDF. You can't order them individually right now because the new catalog's not out. That comes June 1st. But you can actually buy all five ink pads in a bundle if you want them immediately. And I have added that bundle right here and it's a 10%, you save 10% on that bundle. So if you're not gonna, if you're not planning on joining my In Color Club where you get everything in one color every month, then this is a great option too. Um, $33.75 for those five new ink pads. So just a little tip there. All right, let's get started. Now I'm kind of mixing a little bit of the new with the old. It's so hard for demonstrators this time of year because we want to play with all the new things, but we also want to make sure that you guys are seeing all the things that are leaving in case you haven't gotten them yet. So today I'm making, I actually cased myself. I made this card years ago in different colors, and I just think it's a, such a fun way to use the stamp set. It, it's kind of like a little x-ray um, that I cased it. I thought, let's do that again, except let's do it in our new bright colors. Isn't that fun? Just that bold blueberry bushel, I, I think, really is, is beautiful. So the no bones about it stamp set, it's great for little boys. If you stamp for little boys, I think this is a great set for that. Um, I have used it for lots of birthdays and even um, nursery, like um, new babies and um, that kind of thing. So it's a good one. It does not have framelits, it's by itself and it's retiring at the end of the month. So make sure you get it if you don't have it yet. Okay, so let's see. Um, we're gonna start with our card base. Let me pull everything over. Here's the card base, and it measures four and a fourth by, I better move my water before I spill it. It measures four and a fourth by 11, but don't worry, remember all of this is over on that PDF on my blog right now. So don't write it all down. Just go and save that PDF to your computer or print it out. All right, so here is, I guess it doesn't matter either side. We wanna cut a window right here. And we're gonna use these, um, um, hello, what are they called? Oval framelits. And I'm gonna use this one. It's three inches wide in case you were wondering which one I'm using. And I'm gonna cut a window right there in the top of my card front. All right, so see, there we have that. I can hear my dogs barking upstairs. I hope you guys can't hear them. I have no idea what they're barking at. All right, so we have a window. Now we want to make the frame for that window. And so we're gonna take our pineapple punch. I love that name, pineapple punch. And we're gonna put it down here. But before I do that, let me show you the comparison. Here's pineapple punch. 
And here is Daffodil Delight. So big difference, right? When I see them by themselves, I think, well, you know, they're the same, but they are not the same. This reminds me of like a post-it note, the yellow post-it notes, that bright yellow that's gonna catch your attention. And you can see on here how good it looks with uh, another of those primary colors. So um, Pineapple Punch and Daffodil Delight, both are beautiful. Just one's a little bit brighter than the other. All right, so now take your that same three inch wide oval and I got the the next up in size scallop oval and I'm going to put them on there at the same time that's going to cut a frame for me thanks for sharing you guys thanks Luann I do appreciate that all right there we go let's take all that out and there we have that. And you could save that for later if you wanted to use it. Now, if you are going to do this without a video recording you, you would probably want to use the fine tip glue pen. But you guys know me and I am a mess and I will make a disaster of it even if I don't have the camera on, but especially if I have the camera on. So I'm going to just use some glue dots and go around, put about four of them on here. They fit perfectly right behind that scallop. So if you're like me and you're not good with a liquid adhesive, just use those scout, those uh, glue, mini glue dots. But that mini, that fine tip glue pen does, I mean, this is like perfect for it. All right, right there around that window. And now let's get our Whisper White. This is a four by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White, and I'm gonna put it inside. And now I'm going to close this and I'm gonna stamp my first dinosaur, the one that's solid. I'm gonna stamp it in the Pineapple Punch ink. And I'm gonna close it so that I make sure that I'm centering it exactly where I want it. Right there. All right, close that up so we have no disasters. And now, let's see, we're gonna get this basic black and we're gonna, we wanna stamp this on the window sheet. This is a window sheet, I don't know if you guys can see it. And it measures four by four. And I'm gonna put my adhesive here so that I'm ready for it in a minute and I don't have to touch it after I've stamped it. The basic black archival is um, one of the things that's retiring, but you can also use stays on, on a window sheet and it dries pretty quickly. All right, so I'm gonna put that there on top get my basic black ah. and now the problem here is that I have these lights all right I'm gonna have to pull it down I have these bright lights and it's creating a glare so I can't necessarily see where I'm stamping but I did pretty good now I'm gonna let's wiggle it just to make sure it's exactly where we want to be where it, we want it to be and then I'm gonna close and don't run your finger across that because it does not dry immediately. Um, in fact, on a window sheet, you can see it's pretty wet. You probably wanna hit it with a heat tool or set it aside for a good 10 minutes to let that dry. All right, so there is the main construction. Pretty cute, right? I think kids would um, get a big kick out of that too. All right, now another product I'm gonna show you, I have it on the next tray to show you. The next product we have is the In Color DSP, Designer Series Paper. Um, in other words, pattern paper, that's what we used to call it. And it is a stack of the In Colors. We used to have these and we got rid of them last year and now they're back. They're six by six and I'll show you them in just a minute. And so I kind of like the stripes, I think. This is a one and a fourth by four and a fourth. And put that there. And then I'm gonna take a half inch wide by four and a fourth. Do the window sheets warp with heat? Brad, that's a great question and I have no idea. You know, I definitely would be careful with my heat tool on there for sure. Um, because that heat tool gets so hot that it'll warp anything. <laughs> it's warped the top of my desk. So I would think, yeah. Um, but I, you know, you can hit it for a few seconds. Um, and if you, you know, wave it like that. Um, I don't know why I had to do the sound effect, but. <laughs> <laughs> if you wave it around um, and don't let that intense heat just sit right on it, you'll be fine. All right, some linen thread. 
around here three times. That was a good question, um, Rob. I appreciate you asking that. And I bet somebody knows for sure. I bet somebody has warped their window sheet before. I would suspect that, yeah, it's going to probably do something if you leave it too long. All right, so spread those out. All right, so let's stamp the sentiment. This one I am using. I'm so scared I'm going to smear that black. This one I'm using um, says, have a dinerific birthday. So let's just stamp that on Whisper White. Oh no! Did I see what happened? There's something right there. Oh look, there it is. Do you guys see that dot? Those have been in my hair, on my legs, everywhere. I <laughs> There's a new dye in the catalog that I am using for Bingo, which by the way is almost full. If you want to register, both of them are almost full. Details over there on my blog. And I... They have like <laughs> they have like 50 little dots out of each one of them and they all have adhesive. I put adhesive on the back of them. They have been everywhere. We, my husband and I were walking in the neighborhood this morning and he's like, um, you've got some blue dots in your hair from yesterday. So anyway, that's what that is. All right, this is the one and a half inch um, circle punch. And this is a new color called Call Me Clover. That's a new in color. It's the green and it reminds me, if you guys are familiar with Gumball Green or Cucumber Crush, both of them were such good Kelly Greens. And here is Garden Green for comparison. Much lighter, because this is kind of what I've been reverting to this year, because I felt like we didn't really have a Kelly Green and this was the closest I could get, but look at that. Beautiful. Um, this is gonna be great at Christmas. All right, the Leaf Punch, which is from the, it was in the holiday catalog, and it will be in, it's still, you can still get it on the website, but it'll also be in the new annual catalog. All right, a little leaf back there. Bring that back over, put a dimensional right there over that knot, and add that in. And then, a bow. I know it's a masculine card, but a linen bow seems masculine to me. It's kind of rough. And plus, I have a hard time not putting a bow on everything. Green is your favorite color, really, Kathy. My um, my husband says his favorite color is camo. <laughs> and if he had to pick one, it would be green. There we go. All right, so almost done. I didn't like that all by itself, so I cut another piece of this fun DSP. Mm -mm, I think we'll do stripes this time to put on the inside there. All right, there you have it. I love that card and I love that stamp set and I am really sad to see it go. It's such a fun, I love fun, cutesy, whimsical stamp sets and we don't have a lot of masculine stamp sets so that's a good one. All right, now I am actually already this morning filmed clean versions of these that will be on YouTube hopefully this afternoon. And so if you ever want to um, come back and find this tutorial, it'll be over there. And it was only like a six minute video. So there's that. I hope you guys like it. All right. If you guys were wondering, look, do you know what this is? I showed you last week. This is our new stamp chamois and it's a, a stamp cleaner, like a stamp sponge. And last week it was looking yucky and now look, it's looking even yuckier. I almost kind of feel like the yuckier it looks, the better because that's kind of like a badge. Look how much I've stamped, right? And I have washed it. I washed it really good yesterday and it still looks like this. So it's just gonna get grungier and grungier, but I kind of think, hmm, that just means I've stamped a lot. All right, that'll be in the new catalog, by the way. All right, let me move this out of the way and we'll start the second project. Oh, let's see. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I know. I have started recording those clean versions. Um, it's kind of a lot of extra work, but I know that it's important to you guys to have those to refer back to because you're not going to want to watch an hour long Facebook Friday to find a video you were looking for. All right. Project number two is this little mini bag, a mini purse. This, this one's in Pineapple Punch. This one is in um, Lovely Lipstick. And here's another one I made in Call Me Clover. 
so cute. I'm gonna show you how to make these. These would make great little party favors. I have um, Hershey Kisses in them, and I think that the sentiment, because it says sending love and hugs to you, those kisses and then the hugs, you know, the little Hershey Kisses that are called hugs, that would be cute in there. Yes, the naughty version, Michelle, you're right. This is the naughty version, the unfiltered Facebook Live. <laughs> Let's hope it's never naughty. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make this, and I told you that I would show you that DSP stack. Here it is, six by six. There are um, four patterns for each color, and you get four pieces of each pattern. So eight pages of each color, if that makes sense. These are so great. I find that I use these kind of papers more than anything else because they're monochromatic, they're easy to match, um, you know, if you're making a card with lovely lipstick, you can pull out that DSP and it works. So uh, these, I go through tons and tons and tons of these. These are great. So that's what I'm using for these. You actually need just one piece for the bag that measures six by six. And we're gonna use lovely lipstick. Now I'm also using the stamp set, stamp set Ribbon of Courage and it is not retiring, however, the bundle price that includes the stamp set and the matching framelits, which I didn't pull out. We are using this one, that's part of it. It also has the heart framelit, it has the, the um, ribbon framelit, there's a couple of other ones. The, the bundle price, where you can buy both of them for 10% off, um, is leaving. So next year, they'll both be in the catalog, but you have, next year, you know, in June. You'll have to pay, you'll have to order them separately so if you like this or you've been wanting it get it before this catalog is gone so you can take advantage of that 10 percent um savings on there okay so my simply scored we're gonna score this at move everything out of the way three and a half no two and a half and three and a half all right and you can make all these different ones with these different patterns. Let's see, I haven't done one like this, so we'll do this pattern. Now, this is gonna kind of drive some of you crazy because I'm not gonna give you exact measurements. I saw this um, a long time ago, and somebody told me how to do this, and there were no measurements, so I'm just gonna pass it along to you. You just take your scissors and you cut, and you take your scissors and you cut. <laughs> That's it. I'm guessing that is about an inch and a half, Maybe, maybe we should do a little bit more, two inches. And if you use the page that has these stripes, then you can make sure that you go up to the same stripe. And if you have these tiny paper snips, it's just about the length of the tiny paper snips. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna fold those in like that. And let's adhere them down. All right, now we're gonna kind of curl these a little bit. Curl them in. And we're gonna put adhesive, a really strong adhesive. If you have Fast Fuse, use that. Tear and tape is good too. Right on the edge, okay? Because now we're gonna take this one, curl it in, and then take this one and curl it around. Ah, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. It's hard to do it and not cover it. All right, so curl those papers in and just line up that top edge and then come over here and push it all in like that. Now I'll do the other one, curl this one in, curl this one around and seal it down. So it looks like that. All right, but then let's make it pointy like a purse. So cute, there it is. And there you have it. You could leave it round if you wanted, but I liked going out like that. All right, now for the handles, I've taken um, the, the other, actually no, this time I did use the same, but on the other ones I used the other pattern, and this is a half inch by six, and, uh-oh, lost the feed, we're having a thunderstorm, oh no! I wish we would have a thunderstorm, I like thunderstorms. You don't get them very often down here in South Texas. All right, I put adhesive on both the ends and I'm just going to put that in just like that. Make sure you're using a strong adhesive or these will come off. I don't know, liquid glue. You girls who use liquid glue, that would probably be a good choice, liquid glue. But you might need to like clip them on for a while so they dry. 
and then over here on this side. Easy peasy. And there you have that cute little purse. So cute. This one kind of looks like a beach bag, doesn't it, with those stripes? Okay, now let's cut out that flower. That flower I told you, here it is, is from the Ribbon of Courage. And if I can, I always work myself into like a little six inch square here. This is the Pineapple Punch again. I really like these two colors together. Pineapple Punch goes with all the, in, the new ink colors really well. Okay. And you know what? I did not get my dye brush. I actually have it packed. I have a class tonight and we are using it in the class and I packed it away. All right, so let's pull that out and I'm just gonna use my fingernails to get these out. This one comes out pretty easily but the dye brush would make it a lot easier. All right, that looks pretty good. Lots of doodads. Oh, look, those look like horseshoes. Mmm, I need to save those. <laughs> yeah, right, if I save them, I never find them again. All right, now I'm gonna use lovely lipstick ink and the cute little sentiment. Sending love. And hugs to you. Teacher appreciation is this week. If you need a teacher appreciation gift, this would be a great one. All teachers have a stash of candy somewhere in their desk. So sending them a little stash of candy, a little, little bit of candy to add to their stash would be great. All right, so let's layer these up. I'm going to use a dimensional here on the bottom of the flower. Put that there, then another dimensional, and I'm gonna put it right on top of that one and stick that there. The last thing I need is pineapple punch ribbon. I don't know, every time I say pineapple punch, I've said it to you guys before, there's a song that my kids were singing last year all the time that included pineapple pin. If you're a mom of some upper elementary kids, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. So now every time I say pineapple punch, I wanna break out in that stupid song. All right. <laughs> JB, you know, I don't know where I come up with all my ideas. There you go, you guys. Some of them I find on Pinterest, I'm, honestly. I mean, I pin lots of things, Instagram, um, and sometimes I have, you know, like a mad scientist, an idea pops in my head. There you go, I hope you guys like it. I have to, oh, nope, look, I almost called the wrong name. Pineapple Punch, lovely lipstick, and the other one was Call Me Clover. I don't know, which one's your favorite? They're all cute, they're all fun, I love them. All right, so that's that, that is that. Let's see what our last project is. Our last one is so simple, but it is so cute. Let me bring it over. I've shown you all the colors except for Grapefruit Grove. And here it is. Let's see, I had, uh-oh, what happened to my, what did I do? Oh no, it fell into the trash. Oh, I had these earlier to show you. Here is um, the, the new end color, Grapefruit Grove. And here's another new color called Petal Pink. So these two, look how nice those go together. It's very pinky. When I first got, got it out, I really thought it was like Peekaboo Peach. But here's Peekaboo Peach. They go together nicely too. The Peekaboo Peach is leaving us at the end of the month. So here's the grapefruit. And you know what, I didn't pull out Calypso Coral. I think Calypso Coral is much darker than this. But anyway, that's Grapefruit Grove. It's a good color, I love it. I love all of them, I've never said that in, in the years, the 10 years I've been a demonstrator. I've never absolutely loved all five in colors this year. I, I can say with all honesty, I do love all of them. Okay, so you need a piece of Grapefruit Grove cardstock that measures six and a half by 10. And this is, has a bunch of score lines on it, so don't panic just go print out the pdf and it's on there for you all right so we're going to score the long side at one two four six eight 
and nine. And then we're gonna turn it and do two inches on both sides. So two and four and a half. All right, now we're gonna do a lot of trimming. We need to trim out the two rectangles on all four corners, okay? So just cut those out. See if I can look at your comments while I'm while I'm cutting. I don't think I can. I think I have to stop. <laughs> okay, you guys are telling me your new colors, your favorite new in colors. Lipstick's my favorite, but I'm a pink and red girl. Pink and red are my two favorite colors. So that's that's kind of a no-brainer. That blue is a good blue too. I really like it. And that pineapple punch. Mmm, I like it. It um, is bright. We have a lot of new bright colors. Um, which is which is nice a new just kind of fresh breath of bright colors all right so I cut all those those four corners off now I'm going to cut these score lines up and then I am going to cut the middle one right here in half and no need to measure just eyeball it and cut it like that okay so let me set it down so you guys get a good look at it my video this morning I forgot to do that I know sometimes you like to pause it and look at what it looks like so that's what it looks like and see so you can even tell I did mine crooked there it doesn't matter it's on the inside it's just we cut it in half to kind of reduce that bulk so that we don't have three pieces of cardstock together all right so this one's gonna go like this first so I'm gonna put some adhesive here there's some guys out in the cul-de-sac working on somebody's yard, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Charlie doesn't lose his mind. I can hear him, he wants to lose his mind today. You know, we might be under attack by the, the lawn crew. He must protect us. That's his, that's my schnauzer, one of my schnauzers. And that's how we think he thinks. Okay, so you see that? Just a box. All right, now this one goes in and this one goes in and these go up. Okay, see that? Those go in and that goes up like that. And there's your cute little milk carton. Now you could use a clip to hold that closed, but I'm gonna use our new Grapefruit Grove ribbon, of course. This is one of those times where I, making a project is so easy because all the colors are exactly the same. Um, stamping up, that's kind of our pride in our products that we can offer matching, coordinating products that are all the same color. So there's no like digging around in your drawer, going to the craft store, trying to find ribbon, trying to find this, that match. You know that when you order Grapefruit Grove ribbon, cardstock, ink, and paper, it's all gonna, it's all gonna match. And that makes, you know, that takes out some of the complicated you know, when you're trying to piece things together sometimes, matching colors. I know a lot of you I've heard from say, you know, putting colors together is the hardest part. All right, well, I didn't do a very good job there. This box is empty and it's flying around. I need to put some weight into it to hold it down. All right, let's get that ribbon in the middle. There we go. All right, I think my little legs there are a little bit too long. There we go. Well, he's a little wonky. Come on. All right, he's gonna do. There we go, there's the milk carton design. Now let's put some of that DSP on there. This is from that same stack, and I can't think of the measurements off the top of my head, but they are on that sheet. Oh, this one looks like it's too big. It is too big. You know, earlier I had to cut the wrong size. Let's see if I can cut a straight line. Can I do it? I don't know. There we go, it worked. And I'm just putting it on the front. If you were gonna make these maybe for a party, I would probably do the back side too, the, the, the two fronts and the back. All right, so there's that. Now the stamp I'm using is retiring. This is a fun birthday party, you know, celebration stamp set called Confetti Celebration. And it is retiring, and I love this one because it fits inside of a circle so perfectly. But all of these are really good general um, sentiments for birthday. All right, so let's stamp this in our grapefruit grove on Whisper White. 
and punch it out with the two inch circle punch. Look at that, perfect. And the last thing to do is a dimensional. I told you guys, this is so simple, but so cute. Ta-da, that's it. If you needed to make a bunch of little favors, this is, this is the one. This is definitely the one. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so those are our in colors. Let me pull the projects we made back in. Let's review. Like I always say, let's review. Um, remember that you want to go and get the PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com. Right now, it went up live, hopefully, at the right time. Last week's didn't go up at the right time. But this week, I made sure. Um, if you want these projects, I'm going to send them to you for free um, with a $30 order. There's the hostess code. By Monday night. has to be by Monday at midnight. Um, if you want the inks, you can order the inks right now. You can't buy one at a time, but you can buy them as a bundle and actually save 10%. And I have noted that right there in the on the PDF. Um, it's kind of in a weird place on the website. It's in the share what you love bundle. You know, if you click on that ban banner, it's in there because it's um, a, you know, a sneak peek pre-release basically. Um, but here they are and I love them. I think you'll love them too. If you're not ready to buy the in colors or you want to take part in my, I don't know why that camera keeps shaking like that. I don't know what's moving. Hmm. If you want to take, um, advantage of my in color club that starts in June make sure to look on the back page right here um, you will get every month you'll get a pack of cardstock a marker an ink refill a bolt of ribbon a stamp pad a jar of embossing powder and the little embellished clips plus a handmade card from me every month and so one month you'll get blueberry bushel one month you'll get lovely lipstick one month you'll get pineapple punch and so on, so for five months. So if you want those details, go check it out right there. I have a whole post typed up about it. All right, so before I sign off, let me double check that I didn't miss anything from you guys that you were asking. Lost the feed completely. Well, guys, it's gonna re-upload in a minute and when I'm done and it'll be a clean recording on here um, and it won't be fuzzy or anything. So, oh, I'm seeing, yes, all your favorite colors. Um, oh, thanks, yeah, my teacher appreciation gifts were fun. I did exactly the same thing this year as last year. I did, I've been so busy that I didn't have time to think of anything new, so we just copied everything we did last year. And uh, I think it's okay. Different teachers, so. All right, well, I don't see any questions. If I do, I'll answer them. I'll, I'll uh, respond to you in the, in the thread. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to go over and enter for the prize. And let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great weekend. Oh, before you leave, next week, there will be no Facebook Live. I'm about 90% sure there will be no Facebook Live next week because I have three events within a week. Um, plus some other family things that are going on. I just don't think I'm going to get it done. If I get it done, I'll let you know, but I just, it takes a lot of planning. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get it done next week. So I'll let you know, but for right now, let's count on nothing next week. Have a great weekend, you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.